My name is Brenda Amy, and I'm a lecturer for the Division of Special Education and Counseling. I was born in Walla Walla, Washington, and that's where I grew up. So I lived there until I went to college. And uh, I have two older siblings who, um, you know, mean the world to me. It was a very rural town at the time. I think we were famous for our sweet onions. I think I was always drawn to the helping professions. I was a psychology major at the University of San Diego. I was working with adults with severe multiple disabilities and I knew that's what I wanted to do. When I found out about the profession of orientation and mobility, well, Cal State LA has a program. At the time, I didn't realize it was maybe one of 15 in the country. I loved it. And what was amazing is that my education was paid for by the federal government. There is a need for orientation and mobility specialists. It still exists today. I don't know, I'm so thankful. You know, like my education was paid for in a profession that I still love to this day. I was just really fortunate. There was an opening at Cal State LA. It was part-time, and it was to teach in the program that I had graduated in. And I thought, oh, that would be great. And how many years has it been? That was 94. Okay, so there's math. It's been a lot of years. So I, I've been there ever since. It's the best job ever. It's called Orientation and Mobility. And the focus is to prepare specialists to work with people with visual impairments specifically to teach them how to travel and move independently. And uh, I teach a few other classes for the division as well. In the beginning, I was petrified. But, you know, after having done it a few times, it's gotten a little bit easier. COVID has changed everything. What we're teaching or preparing our specialists, they have to learn the skills under blindfold. You know, there's a lot of safety issues that, you know, we got to watch out. Like, they're crossing streets under blindfold. I can't monitor that from home in a video camera. <laughs> so that gave me some sleepless night. And at the time, I think there were less than 20 classes being taught in person. With a lot of restrictions, we were able to, to teach. I was so worried for the students, but they were troopers. I mean, they, we had um, gloves, masks, shields, and it really worked. I mean, it, it was good. The better they are under blindfold, the more confidence they're going to have under teaching. In 12 weeks, you're going to be crossing major intersections under blindfold and boarding buses and getting on the subway and walking downtown under blindfold. Listen to traffic and align your body perfectly parallel and to know when to go and to actually hit the opposite corner 60 feet away. That takes a lot of skill and it's exciting. They get placements in a school district with a master teacher. Then their final internship is a full-time job. They're earning a master's degree and a credential in one year. In Southern California, you know, if you're an orientation and mobility specialist, there's a darn good chance you went to Cal State LA. The big changes in our field, I think, are the assistive technology. I mean, it is so exciting. I mean, this is stuff that was science fiction when I was a kid. And in terms of independent mobility, things like accessible GPS makes all the difference in the world. And it gets you, you know, pretty darn close to where you need to go. I love Cal State LA students. I loved being one and I love this group. They are role models for their whole families and their families are sacrificing so that they have this opportunities. And the whole Cal State LA being number one in upward mobility, that is something to be pr so proud of. I get a little teary. So that's amazing. My husband and I, we like to hike. Once I'd met the ocean, that was it. I'm probably in the water at least twice a week. I'm not in it, I'm walking along it every chance I get. I'm probably one of the oldest boogie boarders on the beach. <laughs> I'm out there with all the little kids boogie boarding.